Hey, so in this short video, I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough of Facebook ad settings and targeting and things like that um, for businesses like gyms, um, CrossFit boxes, personal trainers, and anyone really felt selling uh, you know fitness related products or services where you are advertising to a local area, like you know just a few miles around your location or the city that you serve or whatever. Um, now when it comes to lead generation and acquiring new members and new customers um, on Facebook ads for these kind of fitness businesses, um, there's a few things that go into it and you know the, the specifics of how you set up your Facebook ads and your targeting and things like that are not actually you know the most important part uh, by, by any means. Um, you know they might actually be the least important part. Now, I'm just going to show you some very basic settings that you can use for um, for fitness uh, business campaigns that will work as long as you know the offer and the message that you have in your promotion is is a good offer and something that people want. Okay, um, so what we're going to be doing with these campaigns is doing some kind of lead generation. So we are you know doing like maybe we'll get someone in for a free assessment or a free trial or a free class or you know say you know. 25 bucks for unlimited classes for a month, whatever your trial um, or your offer is to get people in the door and turn them into longer term customers, you know, that is really important. And if that doesn't, if that is not attractive and if that's not something that people want, then regardless of what you do in Facebook, it's not going to make any difference. But if that offer that you're using and the message that you use to draw people in is good and is attractive, you know, you don't need to be that good at Facebook. You just need to do the basics. And if you have a good offer, then you're going to get good results. And we're going to have a look at some um, funnels that you can use for um, on click funnels for fitness businesses in a minute, um, so that you know you know where to send people when they click on your Facebook ads and things like that. So <clears throat> I'm just going to run a run through a quick Facebook ad setup. So um, our marketing objectives here we're going to go for conversions because we are trying to get people to either um, you know fill out some kind of application or fill out an email address or basically give us some way to contact them um, and kind of register their, their interest in whatever it is you're selling. So we're going to go for conversions. There are a couple of other of these you can use in different situations but for the vast majority of the time um, you just want to be using um, you just want to be using conversions. So I'm just going to name the campaign and we'll go from there. So <clears throat> what we want to do is just going to select a, a conversion event. So this is we're telling people, uh, telling Facebook what we want. So we want leads um, in this case. And <clears throat> you know these these standard things are built into your your Facebook pixel. So all right, this is the bit that everybody gets hung up about. So um, you're targeting. So you know who should I be targeting? How do I select my ideal, you know, person that's 35 years old and likes CrossFit and earns at least $100,000 a year, all that kind of stuff. And like I said before, um, the targeting for these kind of like local campaigns, um, where you're just trying to draw people into a gym within a five mile radius, or whatever, the targeting is not that important at all. So I'm going to show you. Um, a couple of different types that I use and have used successfully, um, <clears throat> very successfully actually in the past for different kinds of fitness businesses. So the age is, is really, um, let's say we're, I'm in Santa Monica right now, so we are going to say that we're just going to run ads to the whole of um, all of Santa Monica. Now, by default, Facebook's going to add 40 kilometers around the radius, uh, uh, around the target that you select. So if we're a gym, like people are not going to come from, you know, all the way down here, which is two hours away to a gym. So we do not want to do, do that. So we can either narrow the radius down to make it, you know, a, a tighter, um, tighter location, or we can do current city only. And, you know, this is just going to... Um, just going to run ads to uh, people that Facebook deems as being in in Santa Monica, okay? And we're going to further refine that down 
um, in a minute. And if we're if we're doing a gym or, or something like that, we are expecting people to be there long term and hopefully be member for months or years. You want to do people live in this location, okay? So we're, we've now got 56,000 56, people that live in Santa Monica. Um, you know, this is not a big city, obviously it's part of LA, kind of really, or that's how most people group it in. Um, but you know, if you're in a bigger a bigger city, you're gonna have a lot more people here. So you wanna further narrow this down, so that's just say that our particular gym, um, kind of most of the members are between you know, 25 and 55 so you know you can just decide this on based on what time of you want to you want to get in front of um 25 to 55 men and women is usually pretty good obviously if you have something that's more applicable to men or women or like a women's only gym or men's only gym or whatever then select the appropriate option here now the detailed targeting is where people really get stuck so <clears throat> they want to put in things like um, you know, they want to put in things like uh, CrossFit, for example, um, and say, oh, I only want people interested in CrossFit in Santa Monica that are in this age range. Well, now we've only got 7,000 people. Um, and, you know, that's a, we've gone from 56,000 down to 7,000. So, you know, that's almost, we're down to like, you know, 10, 15% of what we, what we started with. So we don't, we don't just want to, um, narrow this down uh, when we're doing like a broad offer like a gym to someone that's just interested in, in CrossFit and I'll talk about why that is. So okay sorry we started at 30, uh, we started at 38,000 okay so we've only got 38,000 people that's not a lot so we don't want to get super specific um, and say oh we only want people that Facebook knows is interested in CrossFit and the reason for that is you know if you're off if you're advertising a gym or you know any kind of anything fitness based really you're advertising to basically almost everybody um, regardless of whether they already like like you know stuff related to CrossFit on, on Facebook you know you say at least half of people do some kind of um, fitness or go to the gym or some kind of regular working out or, or whatever so you can't just narrow it all the way down to people that like CrossFit or interval training or yoga or whatever because you're gonna just um, you're gonna miss out on a bunch of people that you know could definitely be interested in your offer and end up converting. So really, if you're advertising a gym, it's pretty safe to say that the majority of people, um, you know, are going to be a, a good fit. If if you're like a regular gym, whatever, like a a commercial gym, um, kind of average price that really everybody goes to. Like you know, if that's your offer, you don't want to be narrowing this down much at all. And in some cases, you can advertise to everybody in this location, like all of these 38,000 people. So I've run gym campaigns before, where it's for like an anytime fitness or something of that nature, where we'll advertise to everybody in Santa Monica, because really, you know, there is the potential that everybody um, is going to be interested in going to that gym and, and taking a trial. Now there will be a few people that are just never going to work out or whatever, and that's fine. Um, but in general, um, that's an offer that has a broad appeal that we want to put out to a lot of people. And we've got very low cost, um, high converting leads, advertising, you know, broad fitness offers to entire cities with nothing else, um, no other targeting on there. Okay. So if you have a broad offer, um, just set your age ranges, set your gender, and then, you know, don't be afraid to test it on a small budget to advertising to everyone in the city. And if the offer is good, then you are, you know, you're going to get results. You don't need to narrow it down to fitness stuff. And um, the next level from that is to, um, is to actually put in, let's say, uh, CrossFit and other stuff like that. But you're going to need to use a lot of them. Okay, so we do CrossFit, um, high intensity interval training, um, like let's say circuit training or something like that um, and what you what you want to do is um, collect up a, a bunch of these so it's people that fit these criteria that like any one of everything we put in this box okay so we've got three big ones um, but we're still only on 8,000 people okay and we, we want more than that um, so what I like to do is let's say the city's you know 35,000 people or whatever it was when it started um, if we're going to use this method I like to cut it basically in half. So if it starts at 36,000, keep adding these that are relevant till we get to about 18,000. And then, you know, you can say that you've 
somewhat narrowed down the whole population of the city into the ones that are more likely to be interested in fitness, okay? Um, you'll definitely miss out on a few people doing it this way, but that's just a, um, a more, it's like a tighter way of doing, um, of uh, kind of broad targeting an, an entire city. So I wouldn't want to narrow down, you know, much more than 50% of the, the population um, if you're working with a, with a broad fitness offer. Um, just because, you know, there are so many people that could potentially be, be interested in it. Now, if you're in a really big location, if you're in New York City and, you know, you're doing something very specific or very high end or like a, a fitness offer that doesn't have broad appeal and you're just going after, you know, a certain type of client, um, then feel free to, to narrow this down more. Maybe, you know, you only want people that are like real CrossFit fanatics and people that are very likely to already be working out at another CrossFit gym and you want to bring them over to your gym then you know you can do that and you can add in all of the different um, types of CrossFit um, uh, targeting that you can that you can think of and you'll just have to accept that you're going to be advertising to a small group of people they're very highly qualified but they're, you're going to be advertising to them over and over again so you're going to have to refresh your messaging um, a bit so that that's the way you can do um, kind of way more targeted but with with lower volume okay um, so outside of like these um, kind of grouping interests together and kind of narrowing down the population that way, um, you can do some like behavior stuff as well. So if we do, let's have a look. If we do, um, if we start looking at behaviors, so we can find um, gyms and fitness clubs, fitness, things like that. So um, you can read the like definitions of what these guys are. Um, but basically, when you have behaviors versus like these interests that we're looking at just now. So behaviors, um, this is like data that Facebook buys from third parties. And basically, you can see the description on the right. It says likely to spend... Um, uh, money at gyms and fitness clubs. Okay, so this is people that are likely um, to in the future or have in the past um, like actually pay for gym memberships and, and fitness classes and things of, of that nature. Okay, so you know you could put something like that in and you're going to pay more for this. You could put you could put that in. So someone that's you know very likely um, purchasing uh, this type of this type of product or training. We're already down to ten thousand people in in Santa Monica, so you might just wanna you might wanna try that and again have a smaller um, smaller but very kind of targeted um, kind of collection of, of people. And you can do the similar things with like yoga and all different types of spinning and, and things like that if you want to get super super targeted. But you just need to keep an eye on on this. And I don't ever like to go under ten thousand with this when you get even when you're getting super targeted. Um, you you can if you want to. Um, but try and keep the audience as big as possible while also kind of um, narrow it down so that you're at least somewhat sure that they're they're interested in what you're doing. Um, and then back to the broader stuff, like I said, if you have a really broad fitness offer, you can just advertise to the entire city and, you know, that can work well. Um, so other things you can do outside of um, the interesting and behavior behaviors and things like that and you can layer in like um, income and things like that on top of it as well um, but you know the more that you do that if you say you want people that are only earning a hundred thousand a month interesting CrossFit that have already spent money on a gym like that's gonna be a tiny pool of people so just bear that in in mind okay um, outside of that we can do um, custom audiences too so if we have um, a newsletter subscriber list for your gym or a list of member email addresses um, or like a list of people that have visited your website in the last 90 days um, from um, you know from the Facebook pixel uh, you can build lookalikes of those and just make a 1% um, lookalike of people on your email list or on your um, member list or, or something like that um, or that have visited your website in in the last few months so Facebook will take that information, give you 2 million people roughly um, that fit that description, and then you can take those people and narrow them down um, by your city. And that's not a good one too. Um, that's, a, that's a really good one actually. So 
Um, most of what I do for successful um, fitness campaigns locally is using one of those th three methods. So you either advertise to the entire city, um, which can work very, very well for a broad offer. You either um, use a bunch of targeted interest to um, narrow down roughly 50% of the population um, in the city and just segment out the people that you know are likely to be interested in fitness or you can go super broad and kind of combine things together so like the gym behavior with CrossFit and things like that and then you might end up with you know seven, eight, ten thousand people um, that are very highly targeted but you know there's not that many of them and that's better for more specific more specific offers and then you've got the lookalikes too so if you have any of the data I mentioned before so website traffic, email addresses or member lists if you have a few hundred people um, from any of those sources you should definitely advertise to the the one percent lookalike of um, of those people in in your city, and yeah, that should those, those like four options there. Um, if you have a good offer, like they're gonna give you results. You don't need any more than that. There are like more specific things you can do, but don't try and get too uh, clever. If you're just doing local fitness stuff, uh, the most important thing is the offer. Okay. And not this, um, not all this targeting in, inside Facebook. So that's the targeting. Usually, we'll run it on um, run it on a couple of main placements. So we'll do desktop and desktop and mobile up here. Um, I will usually get rid of audience network, get rid of Facebook Messenger, leave Instagram on. Um, Facebook usually just like to keep it to the feeds. So this is going to be the, the news feed, desktop and mobile, and then Instagram too. And that's going to give you like a whole bunch of reach. So um, that, that, those are the ones that tend to provide the, the best results. And depending on what size city you're in, you can spend between 10 and $50 a day. Um, you should just start off with, um, with, with 10 to 20 or something for the first few days, see what the response is like, unless you know you want results super quickly. And you can just start it off um, a, a bit higher. And that really everything else for um, lead generation stuff, you can kind of keep the same. Um, the next question really is, you know, what do you put in your ad and what happens if people click on it? So as I mentioned at the start of this video, um, the most important thing for the success of any lead generation or new customer acquisition campaign for local fitness stuff is going to be the offer or message that's in the ad. Okay. Um, and the ad offer the thing that you're you're promoting um, is going to be what you put on your landing page which is where people click so let's take a few uh, look at some examples of those so a really common one in gyms is like this is a template I have for gyms where you promote like a seven day pass this is all just like um, placeholder stuff this is a click funnels campaign so people click on the ad the ad is obviously advertising a seven day pass they come here, they say, okay, seven day pass, click here, and then you know they can fill out the information here to get their seven day pass. And that's how you get their information to turn them into a lead and, and things like that. So the ad really just reiterates this. So you have an image, uh, maybe even the same video that you have here, the same messaging. So it's all congruent. People um, you know, click the ad, come to the landing page, it all it's all the same, and then they, they sign up, and that's how you get a really good um Read kind of opt-in rate and cost per lead and things like that. A different version of one that we do for higher end stuff. So this is like an application funnel where it's a high end program. There's no free trials or anything. Um, it's kind of we're kind of turning people away that aren't serious here, and then getting them to apply. So people we'll click through and then fill out this big application form. Um, that's one you can do for like uh, higher end programs or like consulting or like boot camps and stuff like that. So those are a few options. Um, whichever offer you go with, um, you just need to make sure that you have a lot of congruency between your ad and your landing page and basically have the same messaging, the same offer on both. And you know, once you build your landing page, your, your ad is really just going to be very easy to build because um, you're just going to be using the same, the same messaging. All right. Um, and that's really it. So I really just wanted to focus mostly on the targeting in this video because that's um, what people tend to get confused with and try and get too cute and too clever with it. Um, but just remember what I said here. Um, the four examples that we gave are, I guarantee you, um, 
good enough for any fitness offer advertised locally that um, is actually attractive and people want. And you know, if the offer is no good and the messaging in your ad is no good, and the the hook you're using to get people into your business is no good, then anything you do on Facebook, none of that matters. So bear that in mind. And um, yeah, hopefully that's that's helpful. And there should be something in there for a couple of different types of of fitness businesses. So okay, thanks. Oh, and by the way, um, the links for the funnels, um, these funnels, I almost forgot to mention, and these funnel links I've included under the video, so you can get them in Click Funnels, and if you don't have Click Funnels, you can just get a free trial um, with the with the link below um, with these funnels in your account, so you can go and customize them for your business. These are all like drag and drop, customizable, and then you can use these funnels um, to do lead generation um, using Facebook ads for, for your business or client businesses or, or whatever. And um, there's also a link to a Facebook ads training for local businesses below um, a free uh, like hour long um, training that goes into way more depth about um, Facebook ads, um, targeting, and most importantly the funnel and the offers and come up with a good offer for all kinds of local businesses including gyms and fitness stuff. Um, that's all, all in there so look for the Facebook ads training link below this too and that will expand way more on this and it's probably the best place to go um, if you want to learn more and, and get a bit more step-by-step um, -step other than what I showed you today. So, all right, thanks.